Good morning, everyone. Mr. Robin is here. <laughs> so, welcome to a new and exciting video. So, as you can tell from the title of this video, this is an adoption vlog. I sound very excited. I will tell the whole story later on in the video about how this happened. Um, but for now, I'll show you what I'm about to pack in my bag because I'm going to need to leave soon. I'm going on the train and I'm going to have a couple of hours with the breeder who happens to be my friend. Um, have a nice little lunch, chat, cuddle, all the rats that belong to them, all that stuff. And I will vlog as much as I can, obviously. I will be going to their house, so I'm not going to want to be, like, vlogging and all that. But I will try and vlog some of their rats and how cute they are. Eee, I'm so excited. So, here we have the baby cage that I set up. I'll show you this later. I think I, I filmed just after I set it up. So, I'll put that clip in this video somewhere. So, I have the carrier that I'm going to take them home in. So, it's just got... Um, my normal cardboard bedding in there, obviously. I'm not going to put my active soil on it. So, cardboard substrate. And then some uh, newspaper bedding, because babies... And because we're going to be travelling on public transport, I want them to be able to feel safe. And then a whole bunch of food. Some normal mix, and then some, like, protein stuff just in there for them. So, that's for the rattos. And then, also, I have cucumber for them, but I'm not going to cut it or put it in until... I'm leaving because I just don't, you know, cucumber and all that. So I've got a cucumber. I'm also going to be bringing my phone charger, some snacks, my water bottle that has Pepsi in it. And I thought it was, I was looking for a, a, a bag to bring with me and I found this one. And I just think it's really funny um, because it's a kitten and I'm going to pick up kittens, but obviously not the same kitten. Um, not the same type of kitten, but yeah, I just thought it was funny. So I'm going to just pack all this away. Close this up. These are the worst things to open, by the way, aren't they? Just giving everyone a treat. Um, because I'm about to leave the house. There's three boys in here. Two. That's five. Six, one on the bench. And I don't know what the other one is. I think maybe in there. Yeah, there's a tail. Um, yeah, this is just... Very exciting. I have a bit of time before my taxi arrives to take me to the train station so I can have a bit of a chat. Um, so basically what happened is, rat math is complicated as we all know, like you don't know when is the right time, when, it, you know, you, like it's, it's a lot of decisions and pre-planning and everything like that. So I was planning to get new rats like sometime this summer-ish. Ideally, it would have been a little bit later on, but I'm well aware that like rats don't math the one you want them to math. So when my friend AJ from Massey Asylum Stood messaged me and said, you're at the top of our wait list again, because she had offered me rats back in August when my, um, just after my outbreak happened, but it was not the right time. So she said, I'll put you at the bottom of the list and we get to the top, I'll ask you again. And so she asked me again and I said, mm, I'll consider it. Because I wasn't sure, as I mentioned, and I wanted to do some rat math. And so I was just figuring all that out. And then I um, was thinking about it. And she said that there was one rat who was really sweet and really cute who she wanted to keep back. But he wasn't in her, like, breeding plans. Um, so it would be, she couldn't really keep him back and hold him as a pet because she just doesn't have the space to do that. But then she offered me, like, because you're my friend, do you want him? He's really sweet. I wanted to keep him, but I can't. Do you want him? Um, when I had decided that I think it's probably a good idea to take them now because I don't know whether there'll be any for me from anyone else in a couple of months, I decided I'll go for it. So here we are. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go because my taxi's going to be here soon. And I'm so excited about this. Like, this is so exciting. And... The last two adoptions, I just, the first one, like that went, we all know where that went, that went to shit, that video, because 
um, Plum passed away and then the last one it was just such a hectic day that I just forgot to carry on vlogging so I didn't vlog it and I didn't even like make an instruction video about them like I just had them um so I'm really excited to have this video because not only is it fun to make people enjoy watching them and I'm almost at a thousand subscribers so I'm trying to make videos that people actually want to watch so well, I'm on that topic if there's anything that you want me to particularly make a video about and you'll go actually will watch it let me know down there anyway I'm off let's go let's go <laughs> Having some lunch. Not that you stay in. Hello, but where are you off to? So, I have the boys now. I showed you a couple of clips of them at Reader's House when we we're having lunch and stuff. Um, we are now here. They are. They're in here. Um, at a train station waiting to change. I decided to sit outside where it's a little bit more noisy because the waiting room stinks. Um, but there is something that I wanted to mention about um, something that I saw. So while I was getting onto the train at the station, I saw an ad that pets at home were doing and it had rats on it and it said just for the pets or for the pets or something like that and um, I think we all know that that's not true and um, it just made me laugh considering like what I was doing what I have with me but yeah We are home and this is very exciting. Now I get to tell you just how this happened. I don't know if I've mentioned this already in the vlog, but basically 
I was offered, I think I have, I was offered these boys and I didn't know quite if the rat math worked out and I, I did a bit of thinking and I figured out that it would work, it would be okay and so I took them and I was really, like, it was really nice to hear that one of the rats that AJ wanted to keep, she couldn't keep him and the first person she thought about asking um, if they wanted him was me. <laughs> Um, so I'm just going to introduce you to the boys right now and then I'm going to put them into their cage and let them settle in for a little bit and then perhaps I'll include some footage of like a playtime session or something at the end of this video. So without further ado, this is Corson. He is a silver fawn topier. Aren't you the cutest little mini man ever? He was named after Agent Coulson from Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. And his show name will be Ratty Asylum. What a wonderful place. Or it's a wonderful place. If you know um, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., you'll know where that comes from. He is just a sweet, sweet little boy, aren't you? Just a sweet little boy. Um, yeah, so this guy is a silver fawn. Silver fawns, when they are grown up, are very gingery, but as kittens, not quite so much. So that's Coulson. Now, this man, this little guy is the Mink Silken Dumbo book. If you just look at his face, just, just look at that little smooshable face. His name is Sinner, and not Sinner as in like heaven and hell sin, Sinner as in C-I-N-N-A, Sinner, as in Sinner from the Hunger Games. And his show name is Ratty Asylum, the Mockingjay's stylist, because I am in a Hunger Games phase because of the new movie that's being released right around my birthday actually in November. And also, um, just there was the Hunger Game Renaissance, still is on TikTok at the moment. And yeah, so that's where his name came from. I was on TikTok actually, and I saw I saw a rescue. Um, I think it was a bearded dragon. I can't remember. It was some sort of reptile. And they, oh my god, look how shiny and pretty they are. And they had a new intake, and I think it was a bearded dragon. And they called it Sinner, and I was like, that's it. That's his name. And this was right around the time when I was deciding if I wanted to keep him or not. And it was like the day that I was like more, it was the first day that I was more yes than no. I saw that name and I just knew he, it, that was his name. Coulson was named by Rat Dad. So, oh, oh, he is trying to escape. So I am going to put them into their cage. I will go through the kitten pack that AJ gave me. So she put it in this little bag, which she wanted me to use this bag as a foraging toy afterwards. That's why she used some, just like a plain paper bag. And she has a, oh, it, it says that here. It's a little tag with their logo and my name because obviously with the specific rats, the things that are in here are slightly different. So before I get into the paperwork that is in here, it's just so cute, look at that. So in the kitten pack, there is a, a selection of the mix that they have been eating at home, which I will transition them onto my mix. But for now, uh, this is the mix that AJ and John feed. <laughs> this isn't from the kitten pack. This is the cucumber I brought with me for them. Then there is this lovely uh, dog food pouch. I was like, is it a cat food or is it a dog food? And this is obviously because babies need extra protein. So we have this. Then we have a licky lick which is a great getting to know you treat and then a couple of these 
mini milky bones and as this little label says it says cut off and empty put milky bones including the bag in bag scrunch up into a bowl and place in the cage for your baby rats to enjoy and play with which i will be doing just not right now because they've got plenty of treats in there currently so i will put all those things back in their food the extra protein food and the licky licks and the treats i think i already put them in there again now for the little paperwork now not all breeders will do this but some do so in my little envelope i have first got a couple of business cards so we have the ratty asylum business card which looks like this and just has their details on the back then we have the small pet vet business card oh <laughs> and i already use this vet adele is my wonderful vet but obviously they want to recommend a great vet to their new pet homes so this is also in there and there is this business card for boggles and boots pet photography ebony who runs this business is so so lovely and if anyone in the midlands especially is interested in getting their rats photographed definitely go and see ebony she is the best around now the other information that we have in here we have uh, a little thing about the midlands rat club which i'm already a member of but this is the kitten pack that everybody gets so if a new home isn't already a member they will get this information so a little thing about the midlands rat club then there is a little note personally written to me and it's on paper with their like logo and little footprints which is super cute and then they have an info pack oh so there is useful websites places things about hammocks and places to buy them different bedding rat food this is the, the food that they use then um, things about showing viruses and then some other sort of shops that they recommend which is really nice and then the last thing in here is their family trees so they were both born on the same day but they are from different letters so this is the silver fawn coulson's family tree and then this is sinner the mink silk and dumbo's family tree here and that's all together in this little envelope and that is what makes up a kitten pack and different breeders will include different things i think some will include little toys some maybe include hammocks other things like that treats usually a little bit of the food family trees maybe an information pack and yeah so that's everything that is in the kitten pack that is just neatly packaged into a recyclable reusable little bag and yeah it's so exciting it hasn't even been that long since i've had baby rats like it's only been four months because we got some in december but i can i tell you there is nothing better so yeah that is the boys i'm gonna let them settle in i'm gonna have some time watching some tv or something i'm gonna have some dinner and then perhaps we'll play with them in a little while so here we are this is the next day after taking the babies home i've just fed them their dinner so they're having a bit of a nibble his sinner the lighting is terrible i think i'm in the way maybe my phone's in the way um but yeah so here they are they're doing really well really confident really brave interactive smooshy little guys aren't you yes you are they're very playful <laughs> Do 
Ah, coolsome baby. Coolsome baby. <laughs> Please, what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? This lighting is absolutely terrible. Sorry about that. But yeah, that is the end of this video. I will obviously be making a lot more videos about them in the future. I'm going to be making a whole, probably a whole video about the introductions because I don't think I've actually done like a proper just video about introductions with actual footage and stuff like that. I think it'd be interesting for people to see. And yeah, that's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you find my babies cute and sweet. They're so funny because they're, they're just sniffing my phone at the back of the phone now. Um, so yeah. Thanks very much for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!